Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scrunchie. So there's two different ways you can get a template. You can either use a template that you've cut out or you can get the measurements and you can use a tape measure and chalk it out. I prefer to use the template because you don't have to spend time chalking it out. It's already made for you there so you just have to grab it and place it on. And then to attach the template to it you can either use clips or you can use weights to weigh it down. I prefer to use, weight, to use weights because you can just like place it on whereas clips you have to go along and clip it. But whatever you choose is fine. And then you can also cut it out with whatever fabric cutter you've got. I've got scissors or a roller. So I'm going to use a roller. So you just go along the edge around it ever so slightly so that you've cut it all out making sure you don't cut the pattern and then you have your piece so the next part of making the scrunchie is to sew it so what you want to do is get the right side and you fold that back onto the wrong side so then if you turn it round you have the right side there and the wrong side there. So then you fold it back so that you've got the two right sides together. So then it just looks like that, so you've got the right side and then the wrong side. So then, after you've done that, you just need to sew it. So the next thing you need to do with it is you need to turn it the right way around. Because right now it's inside out. So you want to turn it the right way around so that no seam shows and you've got the nice outside showing now. So it takes about a minute or two to turn it out. But then after that, you need to decide what length elastic you want, depending on what um, length you've got this. So my scrunchie is 38 centimetres long, so I went with a 17 centimetre elastic. So then, if I get my elastic, I tend to use, have my elastic at 3 to 5 millimetres width, but if you want a thicker or thinner elastic, then that would work as well. So then once you've got your elastic, and you've measured it out, you cut it. And then I thread it through with safety pins. So I have two because I use one, I attach one to one end of the elastic. And then I close it like that. And then I attach the other one to the other end. Of the elastic. But I don't close it. I thread the one that I've closed through the scrunchie so that I can keep hold of the pin and I know where the end of the elastic is at all times. And I keep pulling the fabric up so when I go down I scrunch it and then I keep pulling it up until I'm at width, until I'm at the same point where the open safety pin is. So I'm at that point now. So then I get the open part of the safety pin and I put it through the fabric and then I close it. So that when I go through with this and I pull this because it'll start to scrunch because the elastic is shorter than the fabric. I don't have to keep a hold of that and the elastic doesn't go from the end. So you keep scrunching the elastic through, and then as you're going through, it should become more and more scrunchy-like. When you reach the end, 
you undo both safety pins, making sure you have a tight hold of the elastic so you don't have to do that all over again. And so you grab the elastic ends and you need to sew the machine back at this point. And you grab the two ends, you put them, I put them like this, so that you have the one end there and you just have them two together. And then I tend to sew along that bit so that it keeps it secure for when you pull and you scrunchie around your hair, it will stay. So I tend to use zigzag for this because zigzag seems stronger than straight stitch. But if you want to use straight stitch then you can. You want to make sure it's extra secure. When you pull it, it shouldn't come out. If you need to go over it a few more times, then it, you can do, because you want to make sure it is extra secure. So... Then once you've done that, I'm going to go over it again to make sure it's extra secure. And then you took, you don't want to sew over that bit when you sew it together. So you took that bit so that it's part way through the scrunchie. What I tend to do is I put my elastic through that bit. So I pull the elastic from that bit. And then that moves the end around so that it's around about here. So what you do in the beginning, you fold, when you start sewing, you folded the edge over. So you want to get the nice folded edge that you folded over and then you want to put the non-nice edge, so the edge that isn't folded over. You want to make sure the seams line up, and the seam lines up with the other one so that you don't have a wonky scrunchie. And then you put that end in that to make sure it's nice and secure and then you just want to sew along there so I tend to use zigzag on this one again just because when I use straight it sometimes comes undone but use whatever stitch you think will be best for your scrunchie so So then now that you've sewn it, you have your scrunchie that you've just made. Hope you're all proud of your scrunchie and I hope you like listening to my video. Thank you for listening and bye!